Here has come the five dangerous and fiercest warships all of the worlds from the Russian Navy. The Russian Navy currently operates six of the Project 20380 multipurpose guided missile corvettes, while two additional warships of the class are under construction. A total of 24 have been planned. The warships are used in green water littoral zone operations, patrol coastal waters, for engagement of enemy surface ships and submarines and can provide gun support for landing operations. The vessels have a steel hull and composite material superstructure, along with a bulbous bow and nine watertight subdivisions. The corvettes utilize a combined bridge and command center. The Project 20380 corvettes were developed by the Almaz Central Marine Design Bureau in St. Petersburg, and are armed with multipurpose artillery guns, surface-to-air missile, artillery systems, supersonic missiles, automatic artillery launchers and other types of armament. The Project 20380 Corvettes also carry a Ka-27 helicopter. The Russian Federation inherited a substantial naval force from its Soviet predecessor, particularly from the decades following the Cuban Missile Crisis that saw a spurt in Soviet naval investment. But large swathes of these vessels fell into disrepair over the 1990s from a lack of maintenance and resources. Several of Russia's hottest current conflict zones, including the Baltic region and more recently the Azov Sea, are naval in nature. The Kremlin has therefore become increasingly focused on modernizing its navy with cost-effective, export-driven innovation on the one hand and iterative adaptation of present technologies on the other. The result are flagships and first-class vessels that, while not without their technical challenges, can possess significant naval threat capabilities. Here are five of the most dangerous. Number 1. Petr Veliki, Kirov-class battlecruiser. Commissioned in 1998 and still the largest surface combatant ship in the world, Petr Veliki serves as the flagship of Russia's northern fleet. Fast for their size, the primary design purpose of Kirov heavy missile cruisers, sometimes referred to battle cruisers, is to pursue and neutralize American aircraft carriers. For this purpose, Petr Veliki is equipped with a wide range of anti-ship armaments including 20 formidable SSN-19 shipwreck missiles. Petr Veliki also sports several installations of the sea-based variant of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile system, the S-300F. The Russian Navy is planning to outfit Petr Veliki and the only other operational Kirov-class battlecruiser, Admiral Nakamov, with the newer S-400 for increased threat capability against fifth-generation stealth fighters like the F-35. Meanwhile, the Russian Navy is testing hypersonic 3M22 Zircon missiles as an even more deadly anti-ship solution than shipwreck. Number 2. Moskva. Slava-class missile cruiser. Not to be confused with the similarly named Moskva-class helicopter carrier, Moskva is a Slava-class missile cruiser. Commissioned in 1982, it was designed with the same carrier-killer philosophy as the Kirov-class but with a greater focus on cost-effectiveness. While possessing little in the way of ground attack capability, its 16 P-500 Basalt anti-ship missiles and S-300F made the Moskva a potent flagship of Russia's Mediterranean fleet. Deployed from Latakia in 2015, Moskva was a key part of the Russian effort to deter Turkish maritime intervention into the Syrian civil war during a tense period in Moscow-Ankara relations. Number 3, Subrazitelny, Sterigashi class Corvette. The second of 13 Sterigashi class Corvettes to be commissioned by 2021, Subrazitelny employs a modular anti-submarine anti-torpedo weapon. 
This system, called Packet E and K, has no global parallel in that it allows anti submarine MTT torpedoes and heat seeking M15 anti torpedoes to be loaded onto and fired from the same launcher through an integrated command system. The system also includes a hydroacoustic station for sonar target detection. Its technical capabilities aside, Packet's multi purpose nature is threatening in that it muddles the distinction between offense and defense. Number 4. Nastoichivi, Sovremini class destroyer. One of the last Sovremini class destroyers to be commissioned, Nastoichivi is the flagship of Russia's Baltic fleet. Nastoichivi's formidable SSN 22 Sunburn anti ship missiles are complemented by the anti submarine Neustrashimi class frigates that accompany it in the 128th Surface Ship Brigade. Nastoichivi is a prominent naval showpiece for the Russian city of Kaliningrad, spearheading what is by far the largest and most powerful fleet permanently stationed in the Baltic Sea. The Baltic fleet's recurring and increasingly ambitious military exercises contribute to the ongoing spiral of Russian NATO naval tensions in the Baltic Sea. The last five, Admiral Kuznetsov, Kuznetsov class aircraft carrier. Admiral Kuznetsov is Russia's only aircraft carrier, a title that it will likely retain through 2025 as the Navy lays the groundwork for its leader class successor. Admiral Kuznetsov is, to be sure, not without its technical issues. However, it remains a serious threat for the Kremlin's competitors in that it gives Russia many more ways to project its air power around the world. It houses, among other aircraft, 18 Su-33 fighters and around half a dozen MiG-29Ks, and facilitated 420 Northern Fleet combat missions in Syria. But with an impressive 12 hypersonic shipwreck anti-ship missiles and 128 3K-95 Kinzel surface-to-air missiles, Admiral Kuznetsov packs a heavy punch in onboard armaments alone. This offensive capability is why the Russian military classifies Admiral Kuznetsov as an heavy aircraft carrying cruiser rather than as an aircraft carrier. In the mid 2020s, the Russian Navy will adopt an anti ship cruise missile called the Zircon. It's a highly maneuverable and hypersonic cruise missile. No wonder the U.S. military is racing to develop new long range anti ship missiles and hypersonic weapons of its own. The Zircon could pack a 650-pound warhead, and a small radar signature and extreme speed will make the Zircon difficult for air defense sensors to detect and for shipborne anti-missile countermeasures to intercept. Russian press reports have a habit of sensationally promoting the Zircon as nigh-invulnerable, however, the combination of speed and maneuverability present a serious threat. <laughs>